Okay, people, and we are back. Um, yeah, we had a momentary crash there, and oh shit, I'm about to start drowning. The dragon is powerless in the water, and I am planning on killing it right here. Or not! It's not powerless in the water, apparently! Uh, son of a bitch. This thing is a pain in the ass. I don't even know how much health it has left. There's there's no way of knowing. Uh, oh my. I mean, it is far enough away now that I'm at least comfortable leaving it where it is until I can get a, um, a better set of weaponry to try and murderize this gigantic fire-breathing hunk of cancer. But problem with that is he has my shit so I I kind of I kind of gotta kill it I I have to he, he has my stuff I gotta kill him I don't know what the hell I'm gonna have to do to kill him I I just know he's just gonna need to stop living for for a while maybe maybe if I'm lucky some kind of chicken or, or pig or Charlie may have... Okay, he's asleep. I shift and creep towards him. And jump in the water, I may be able to get my gear. Uh, there's really... Okay, shit, don't drown, don't drown! No, no, no! Damn it! Okay, this is... This is becoming a problem. <laughs> maybe I'm not prepared to kill the dragon yet. Maybe... Maybe that's what's happening here. I... I know for a fact... That, uh... That this is... This is turning into a problem... Of rather large proportions uh jeez <sighs> okay okay so back back to the river again as you can see the lanterns are, are over here lanterning around maybe Maybe he'll chase something else. Charlie, this would be an excellent time for you to start playing the ball parade. In the water, the monster seems to suspect nothing. Oh shit. He knows! Okay. Time to get moving. Where's my boots? Ah, oh, shit. Uh. Wait, did I leave the master's staff down there? Oh no. I have to go back down there. I... I don't see anything else. Okay, I guess this is good enough. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the dragon here because I am not strong enough to kill it. 
Yes. I'm gonna need something much more vicious and brutal. Get out of here, skeleton. No one likes you. I mean it. No one likes you. Nobody. Not even your own parents. They called you a scrub. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's let's leave. We're leaving. Goodbye. Okay. We have escaped. Just barely. With our lives intact. That's that's good. Escaping with your life intact is it's much better than not escaping, you know? <laughs> um So we got a dragon to deal with, um and I am not rightly sure how to go about dealing with it, but uh Well, I mean, hey, we we escaped from it at least. That's that's more than most people can say when they are confronted with a giant Okay, okay, this is this is bullshit. Seriously, game? You gonna you gonna do this to me? I mean, I would say we could take this gunpowder and blow the giant fire monster up, but the uh <laughs> Well the problem is uh how do you get that close to something <laughs> like that? See it's not practical. And here are the rabbits. You know, just the worst possible thing that could happen at this point is uh, that I find out we're close to another dragon. Because hmm. that would really suck. But luckily, I did have the foresight to, uh, to stow the loot and stuff. Yeah, okay, good, good. I, I still have my master staff, which is like a key. Because, you know, I've got my minions around. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll make myself some new boots. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, we have two pieces of obsidian, um, and that brings me to the realization I have not yet visited the nether, because, you know, <laughs> that's exactly what one considers doing after they escape the jaws of a fire-breathing monster like Fury Hell hath no. Okay. Um, uh, and... That's probably what I want to do today. We've dealt with the dragon and we got its horde. So now I think it's just going to be a matter of, um, well, I think for starters, I should get the minions to dig. It, oh, wait. Okay, sorry. Okay, my minions. Now, it's time to put you to work. It's your balloon. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. And, uh... Don't hurt me. Since I can't get... Oh. Uh, just, just dug the path up out, uh, quick fix. Okay, that will be good. Luckily, I still have some food up there, so... Yeah. One of the first things I'm going to do when we get some Ender Pearls together, though, is I am going to begin uh, making elevators, which is basically wool and Ender Pearls combined uh, to allow me to teleport up and down. This will be... Undoubtedly, 
very useful in my line of work. Uh, so yeah, it'll it'll be good. Um, and hopefully the minions will discover some sort of source of lava for me, so I will not have to go out there and deal with uh, ungodly amounts of death and destruction looking for lava. Delicious potatoes. Downside of potatoes is they don't really restore a whole lot of hunger. Upside of them is uh, you get a lot of them. And if you can break even with them, uh, all the better. Yeah. I wish I could get the minions to farm these for me, but you know, it's not that easy. Planting the wheat. Okay. And we're growing some very healthy and delicious crops. love to get some cocoa beans. That way I could start making cookies. But, uh, you know, just gotta take it one step at a time. Sad my melons haven't grown back, or my pumpkins. But, uh, yeah, we, we got some, some food here. Let's, uh, let's breed the pigs. Breed the cows, breed the chickens. Pigs, cows, and chickens. That's what we're all about here. Now, uh, the dragon that you all saw me fighting just last episode, trying to survive, uh, is a dragon from a mod called Ice and Fire. And we have... What? What? Oh, okay. The minions have returned their their mining trip. Yeah, from from the mod called Ice and Fire, and uh, yeah, Ice and Fire is re a really nice mod. Um, and its main purpose is uh, that. There are dragons, and they're a problem. Not to sell the soda and getting a little vacuum popper. Okay, okay. So, my minions are there. Uh, we should probably tell them to put their loot inside that box downstairs because they must have despawned. Okay. 